fish fans got out of control during a concert at Walnut Creek Amphitheater. Officers arrested 65 people on drug and alcohol charges, including more than two dozen felonies. And it's not the first operation there this week. Our Brian Mims explains what prompted the crackdown. The complaints couldn't be silenced. People who had filled these seats or sat on this lawn complained to the law about drunken patrons and open drug use. Agent Josh Batten of Alcohol Law Enforcement told me by phone that his office has fielded many of these complaints in the past month about the Walnut Creek Amphitheater. So it was showtime. The rock band Fish was coming. Here they are at an earlier concert. Fish knows Walnut Creek. They have performed here nine times over the years. Agent Batten says his agency doesn't target any particular band, but on Friday night, with recent complaints amplifying concerns, ALE amassed the manpower to do some special enforcement. And agents reeled in a sizable catch. The 65 people arrested range in age from 17 to 56. Nearly half of them live out of state, from New York to Colorado to California. Most of the charges are misdemeanors, but there are some more serious offenses. Of the 115 charges, 25 are felonies. Among the charges, possession of cocaine, LSD, ecstasy, psychedelic mushrooms, and most common of all, marijuana. There are charges of selling alcohol to minors and selling alcohol without permits. Agent Batten says the night before, at the Florida Georgia Line concert, officers arrested at least 30 people on drug and alcohol charges. The amphitheater is once again silent, awaiting the next showtime. Brian Mims, WRAL News, Raleigh. Well, we tried to speak with Walnut Creek's management today about the arrest, but we're told no one would be available until Monday. The amphitheater's next concert is set for August 28th.